meet, meet with, or meet up with from EspressoEnglish.net. Use meet when encountering a person for the first time. For example, in the common phrase, nice to meet you. We use this phrase when we meet someone for the first time. If you'd like to introduce one person to someone else, you could say, there's someone I'd like you to meet, again, for the first time. The past tense of meet is met, so use met when talking about the past. For example, I met my best friend in first grade. We met some interesting people on our trip. Meet with is usually used for spending time with someone for discussion. You'll often see meet with used in business, politics, etc. It does not mean you are meeting someone for the first time. It means you are having a meeting to talk about something or discuss some topic. For example, I met with Kathy to plan the office Christmas party. That's a business context. The president is going to meet with the prime minister on Friday. That's a political context. Notice that after meet with or met with, we have a person or a name. I met with Kathy or meet with the prime minister. We only use with if there is a name after it. If both the names are before the verb, then we would use only meet and not meet with. For example, Kathy and I met to plan the office Christmas party. The president and the prime minister are going to meet. So in this case, we can use meet again when spending time with someone for discussion if both of the names are before the verb. What about meet up and meet up with? These are informal ways to say get together, usually for socializing. For example, if you're planning a picnic with some friends, you could say, let's all meet up in the park at 2 o'clock. Or, I met up with my friends after work. When should we use meet up and when should we use meet up with? Again, notice that after meet up with, we have people. I met up with my friends after work. It's also possible to say, let's all meet in the park at 2.30. That's correct as well. But in informal spoken English, we often use meet up and meet up with to talk about informal get-togethers. If you liked this lesson, consider taking a course with me. You can learn spoken English, practice your listening, improve your vocabulary and pronunciation, and more. Click on the link in the video or in the video description to take some free sample lessons from my online courses.